Well, good afternoon. This is Eric Meeks bringing you another condo in the South Palm Desert area. This one is at 48171 Birdie Way, just off Buckboard, up in the Silver Spur Ranch area of Palm Desert. Very close to uh, the Living Desert, just up from El Paseo. It's a nice neighborhood. Um, this one here, this here is in an area of small condos. Uh, up near the end of the street, you might catch a single family residence up there. Kind of what I would call middle America. This one here, not everybody's car is perfect. The homes here were all built in the 60s, I would say. There might be some in the 70s, right around this block, but primarily the 60s. Let's go inside and take a look. This condo is very old school. I, I think that there's some aspects about, about that that really has some value. Okay, it does need some work. We're going to talk about that. Start with just over here on the ground. I mean, it's not a big thing at all, but can you see? Just a little bit of drip coming out of that uh, sprinkler there. Oh, drop something. Okay, could use some gardening, maybe some fresh rocks thrown out, but um, not a lot. I mean, really nothing more than one afternoon of working on it would do. Um, this type of tile and other tiles, there seems to be at least two types that go through the house, go through it. There is some slight chips in these, so you might want to redo this, might want to repaint. Okay, just so you can see it. Just out here to the left, just outside of your parking spot, you have one covered parking out in front of your place, and then it would be either in the driveway behind it or on the street. Your hot water heater is over here on the left. Probably your air conditioner in there too. This way here, we're going to go through the front door. First thing old school, look at that door. I like that door. It's in pretty good shape, does have some scuff marks on it, but this is a door made out of real wood and real lead pane glass. This is something that can be sanded down and re-varnished. The handles on it are in good shape. I like the door. Okay, Pat, we're done with the door. Inside, tile uh, similar to what's out front goes, goes through the whole place. So just so you can see in there. As I mentioned, this here is a one bedroom, one bath condo. 945 square feet. The main living space is a really good size room. I mean, if you count the dining room area that's over here on the left, okay, that's by the kitchen, you probably have at least 30 feet and maybe even 35 with a width on it of 18 or 20 feet, something like that. I mean, this is a big room. You got enough room so you've got your living room space over here. You might even have a desk or something up against this wall. Here in the middle of the room, maybe you put a uh, uh, just a, a, a table behind your sofa or something like that. Of course, your TV goes over in the corner. You'd still have a lot of vacant space in the middle. Then over here, you could have a full dining room set up. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of space. And with the overhead lamp here, it, it just you could. There's a lot of room there. Kitchen is dated. I got to tell you, these look like original cabinets to me from the 60s, but I think they're coming back. As a matter of fact, the Smithsonian might be knocking on your door to see if they can get these from you. But they're in good shape. Like they even still have magnets on them to help them like really snug, stay, stay close. A stainless steel sink. Again, not a new thing by a long shot, but it's, it's in good shape. You know, somebody might want to replace all this just because they like new. But if somebody wanted to, they could just re around some of the edges, clean it up, and they'd be fine. Now that is a Galaxy 4-burner gas stove. I'm not even sure Galaxy is still in business anymore. Okay, but anyways, it is what it is. I'm not going to say that stove is great, but it, it, it does look like it works. Um, you've got an original new tone, dual-speed hood fan and range light. Wow. And it even vents, look at that, it even vents outside of the condo. That's not just like one of these hood fans underneath the microwave these days that sucks it up into a filter. That thing really takes the uh, the smoke from your cooking outside of the condo. Oh, you got a... The front door just banged again. Must be a little bit of wind that moves it. You do have a, uh, a ceiling light there coming through, a, 
and I can't think of it, you're going to think of it watching this video and know what it is. Big windows. Here you've got five French doors. That's two double sets of doors and then a single door over on the end that I have open. Now, you don't get a huge view. I know that Cynthia, you and I were hoping that this here ended up with views. They've got this green thing hanging right now to give it some shade. I would probably get rid of that. With that down, you would have great light coming on the inside. You do have a nice grassy area here that's about 20 by 20. Okay, so um, that's good. You've got a storage shed over there in the corner that looks like it's in decent shape. You do get some mountain views. You might see it through the palm trees or through the trees there. See that in the distance? You get some mountain views through the trees. But other than that, the trees, uh, they give you shade. What can I say? And late in the afternoon, the sun's going to be behind that tree, which isn't the thickest tree as far as leaves and everything, but it'll still give good shade to the backyard. Um, middle of the day, you're going to have great sunlight back here. Mornings, too. you got a little bit of an overhang here. This is an old-fashioned kind of stainless steel patio covering. Stainless steel, you know, with the uh, metal post on it and everything. You do have nice tile that's done along here. And this is a long patio, again, about 30 or 40 feet wide and maybe 8 or 10 feet, so let's say 30 or 40 feet long by 8 or 10 feet deep. Uh, there seems to be somebody's, uh, the, the water controls that are here, so I um, might even be able to revive that. Sir. That looks fairly new, okay, so it may even be working. I can see back here automated uh, sprinkler controls for this. It just needs somebody to come back and manage it and make it operational. And this is some form of a fruit tree. I don't see any fruit on it right now. So uh, maybe because it hasn't been getting enough watering, uh, but normally that would probably have lemons or grapefruit or oranges on it. So you would have that, and uh, no, I don't think that's another one in the corner, just another tree. Anyways, let's go inside and look at uh, the bedroom. Master bedroom, actually only bedroom, very good size. This room is at least 15 by 15, and it might be 17 by 17 or so. It's This is a good size room. Let's see, one, let's count the square. I think these are foot size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so twelve by fourteen. There's some better dimensions for you. You do have, hey, how you doing? There I am. You do have a very wide closet in here. This is probably fourteen, maybe fifteen feet of closet. Separated into his and her size. These slide well. I mean, these are old school sliding glass mirror doors, but they work well. And in the bathroom, because you do have two bathrooms in this place, we'll start with this one here, it's a master. That is a Formica counter with a sink. This is probably all original. You have, look at that, sandblasted etching of flowers and stuff. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not, but it's pretty nice. And even though things are old style in here, somebody took care of this place. You got a nice tile up there going up to around six or seven feet. Into the shower, you've got your shower head coming out. It's a tub and shower combination. The tub does have one spot in there. I'm not sure if that's dirt or what, but I bet it can be cleaned out. Mm -hmm. Original cabinets on it. You've got your toilet over here. Good space in here. You've got an electric heater fan up over the top. But, uh, I mean, it looks clean. I, mean, I think there's a good chance it works. Anyways, there's the master bathroom. And now we got the guest bathroom. Again, for Mica countertops, there I am. Hey, how you doing? Okay, same cabinets. This one here is just a shower. It's a little bit of a step down. It's got three or four inches into it. You got a little bit of decorative tiles right there. Somewhere to hang your uh, hang your washcloth. Put your soap. The bottom there are a couple of cracks. And there maybe you'd redo it, but. I don't know, it just depends what you want to do. I mean, this is a place that to me, I mean, somebody could just paint it, but if you want it to be fresh, you could do it and you wouldn't feel guilty. 
about replacing these. The stuff that's in here is original from the 60s, I can tell. So uh, while it's been maintained and treated good, it could also go. Anyways, here you go. I'm trying to show you your view. I wish that green thing wasn't down because it's actually a nice backyard. Plenty of room to sit outside on the patio, some grass out there. You could put your own little jacuzzi or even a small wading pool if you wanted to. There's a lot that could be done with this place. And of course, you cannot beat the location. So anyways, uh, what should I finish off on here? How about the beautiful deluxe kitchen? We'll finish off with the kitchen here. And this is Eric Meeks signing off.